Work. Let's work. Work. We're in the trenches. Work. Break it down work. the defensive line. Work. From tech work. and fundamentals. Work. To NFL work. and work. college work. football work. analysis. Work. You're listening to Big Dog Trenches. Work. 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 Let's work. work. What's up, Big Dog? Work. This is Coach work. Roll at work. Five Star Lineman Academy. Work. And we in a lab with another episode of Big Dog Trench Talk. Big Dog Trench Talk is an extension of BigDogFootball.com. BigDogFootball.com houses some of the best D-line content on site. We have new Diva the Line content monthly to make sure that your Big Dog's techniques stay current in the trenches. We're always providing new drills to help continuously enhancing your defense alignment skills. We've also provided content upon coaches' requests. We provide video analysis support to help identify problems and provide great solutions. We even have coaches' consultations where we provide action plans that ensures progress in trench play. We do all of that and more because we want to make sure that our big dogs ball and they can't ball. If you're going to do it, do it big at BigDogFootball.com So pay us a visit and subscribe at checkout. Make sure you type in the promo code PODCAST P-O-D-C-A-S-T At checkout, you'll receive 20% off of whatever package you choose. When you type in PODCAST, you're telling them Big Dog sent you. So visit BigDogFootball.com and join us on the mission of making sure that our Big Dogs are the best in the work. trenches that they can be. Work, 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 work. There's you. Episode number 12 at Big Dog Trench Talk. Uh-huh. We just trying to bring out the dog in you. Bro. You hear that beat go down? That's how you know it's time for a big dog breakdown. You know what, big dog? I'm so excited, man. Let's get right into it. Big dog number 90, Demarcus Lawrence. Deep as the end for the Dallas Cowboys. In week two, of the NFL 2018 season, the Dallas Cowboys played the New York Giants. And boy, what a game. As always, the Dallas Cowboys defensive line put on a clinic. Those big dogs can play, man. One of my favorite sacks of week two of the NFL football season was the sack by Demarcus Lawrence. Big dog. Let me tell you why. When you talk about being a tactician in the trenches, man, this sack clearly defines that. This sack was actually a stunt done by the defensive line. It was what we used to call back in the day a good old Tex. T-E-X. Tex. Tex simply means that the tackle on the stunt goes first and the defense are in, loops inside. And if you do it right, I mean nice and tight, it'll be all right. Get it? Tackle in X. Tex. Big dog, when you see these things done right, I'm telling you, it's just as beautiful as a Picasso painting. But to that offense, as lethal as Danny Glover. <laughs> That's the old one, big dog. Please. Let's talk trenches. With this sack by Demarcus Lawrence, there are three things I really want to break down. When it comes to running a successful stunt, there are three things that have to be in place. Number one, your alignment has to be right. Number two, your course has to be precise. And number three, your execution has to be tight if you want to do it right. Big dog, I call it ace, A-C-E, ace. A for alignment, 
C for course, and E for execution. Big Dog, let me explain something. When I watched this pass rush by Demarcus Lawrence, and even though Demarcus Lawrence got the sack, Big Dog, you know he ain't do it by himself. He have four other dogs that if you look closely, sacrifice for him to get the sack. This team effort sack was the epitome of teamwork because you know teamwork makes the dream work. Big dog, listen to me. Turn up your volume. Listen close to what I'm about to say. Number one, alignment. If you go back and look at that play and you look at their alignment, you will notice that the defensive tackles are actually lined up in a three technique and the ends are outside and a five. But you'll also notice that there are two outside linebackers showing blitz. One might come, one might drop. As a quarterback, you're trying to figure out what's going to be your hot route because quarterbacks are normally taught to throw to where the blitz is coming from. Well, that right there, because of their alignment, brings a level of confusion. But let's go back to these two, three techniques. It's huge for a text that your defensive tackle is in a three technique. One of the reasons why is because you do not want to draw the attention of the center. You want those A gaps as wide as they can be for that defensive end Xing inside. You also want your defensive tackles in a three because you do want to draw the attention of the guard. You want to take that guard with you when you attack vertical in that B gap. So just by alignment, I'm not sure how much that off of the line knows or has identified exactly what's getting ready to happen. So two, three techniques draw the attention of the guard just by alignment. And two, three techniques does not necessarily draw the attention of the center. The center is looking for inside blitz. The center might be looking to see which linebacker is gonna hit that A gap. Or he has to wait patiently to see if anybody exits inside. But if he picks the wrong side, it could be a huge mistake. So he has to sit neutral to see if anything comes inside. But having your defensive tackles lined up in a three technique is huge. Think about it, big dog. If you're the guard and you see that defensive tackle in a three technique, you're looking to cut and close that B gap. You're looking to work towards that off of the tackle so that you can close that window. So just by alignment, as a defensive tackle, being in a three technique, you are already, before the play even starts, creating space. And remember, we talked about in my previous episode that a good defensive tackle knows how to create space. And in this case, he's not just creating space for himself, but he's creating space for his dog. I'm telling you, they're already winning before the play even starts because of their alignment. And again, if you change your alignment, you're changing the offensive lineman's assignment. Woo, I'm telling you, big dog, that's smart football. Your defensive ends are in a normal five, just like any other pass rush. So they're drawing the attention of the offensive tackle. Same formation, <laughs> different play. So watch this, recap. The Dallas Cowboys has two three techniques. They have two five techniques, and they have two outside linebackers that look like they're both gonna blitz. One of them's bluffing, one of them's not. You're gonna find out when that ball snap. Let's move on to number two, course. C-O-U-R-S-E, course. Now what I mean by course is what path do you take? As I analyze defensive lines all over on all levels, sometimes defensive linemen don't take the right course. Now when I say course, I mean they don't actually take the right lane or they don't take the right direction in the stunt. If you don't take the right course or if you don't take the right direction, you will completely throw the entire stunt off. Man, them offensive linemen will pick you and pass you 
like you was pulled pork. <laughs> Watch this though. The Dallas Cowboys defensive line take the proper course. Remember, the defensive tackles were lined up in a three. So when the ball snap, what do they do? They push vertical through the B gap. They actually attack the outside shoulder of the guard to make sure that they draw the attention of that guard to make sure that that guard actually opens up outward towards the defensive tackle as they rush that three or that B gap. They even take it to the extent of rushing a little high. And I think that they're doing it to actually cross the eyesight of the guard to make sure that he's drawn, to make sure that they have drawn the attention and crossed the sight of that offensive guard. Big dog, you gotta look at the details, I'm telling you. Now, why those defensive tackles are attacking that gap and making sure that they are penetrating. And make a note of that, big dog. If you are the first lineman in that stunt, most of the time, you need to penetrate. You need to make sure that through your penetration, you put that lineman on a different level. You need to make sure that you get in between the hips of the lineman. So when your dog come around, that lineman is forced to pick their poison. Do they stay on you and double team, or do they come off and pick up your dog? Either way, huh, bad decision, too late, sack. <laughs> so the defensive tackle do an excellent job of taking the right course. Now the defensive ends, when they allow the defensive tackle to penetrate, guess who's slightly lagging behind? Just slightly rushing upfield just enough to leave that crease and that B open. But as soon as that defensive tackle hits that B gap and crosses the eyesight of the guard, here comes Demarcus Lawrence. Coming around nice and tight, nice and low, so that guard can't see him. The course was great. The course was precise. He came around right off the butt of his defensive tackle. The course has to be precise. If you take the wrong course as a defensive end on a text, in other words, if you work way too flat, you're gonna draw the attention of somebody you don't want. You're gonna draw the guard's attention. You're gonna draw the center's attention. Why? Because you took too long to come around. Your course was not precise. You need to be so tight and so precise in your course that by the time they recognize that you've looped around, it's too late and they can't recover because your course was so precise. <laughs> now remember those two outside linebackers? I ain't forgot about them, big dog. Watch this. The left outside linebacker might have been the wheel in this case or the weak outside linebacker was the one that actually came. Now that's important. Why do you think that's important? Why do you think that the other linebacker didn't come? Well, when Demarcus Lawrence came around into that A-gap, who's gonna take contain? I know what you're thinking. It should be that deep at the tackle. When if that deep at the tackle doesn't get there, big dog, you're putting a lot of pressure on your deep at the tackle to contain from a three technique. And you're asking him to draw the attention of the guard. So the Dallas Cowboys does an excellent job of replacing Demarcus Lawrence with that outside linebacker to that side. And he takes the proper course. You can tell in the rush that outside linebacker was not trying to get a sack. You can tell that the job of that outside linebacker that was blitzing to the side of Demarcus Lawrence was there on course to keep that quarterback contained. Now, why is that so important? Because when Demarcus Lawrence comes around and exits inside, who do you think that quarterback's gonna see? Barking and slobbing and coming around. Slobbing because he hungry. <laughs> he gonna see that defensive end right in his throwing lane. And when most quarterbacks see a defensive lineman in his throwing lane, they pull that ball down and they panic. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Time to take off, time to escape the pocket. Oh, wait a minute, I can't escape the pocket. Why can't I not escape the pocket? because that outside linebacker that rushed to contain on the same side Demarcus Lawrence was on is sitting there waiting on him to escape the pocket. 
Big Dog, do you see what I'm saying? Can you see it? The three techniques push vertical through the B. The defensive ends are slightly behind the D tackles. That way their course is diagonal and sharp and precise. Those outside linebackers are both showing blitz, but only one comes, and that's the one on the side of Demarcus Lawrence. Do you see all of their courses? Those dogs in the trenches know that their course has to be precise. Everybody has a job to do. Everybody has to understand that they play an important role and they have to sacrifice for the good of the whole. Come on, big dog. That's teamwork. Course. Let's look at number three, their execution. This stunt was executed so well by the Dallas Cowboys. Everybody did their job and everybody sacrificed for that big dog to eat. Big dog, I'm telling you, it was like I was looking at an offensive play. It was like I was looking at four or five receivers running a specific route just to free up that one receiver for a reception. You know how offenses run a certain route to anchor down a defensive back depending on the coverage. And that receiver will run a route just to give the other receiver space. I mean, just divinely executed. Well, that's what I was looking at when I watched that defensive front along with that outside linebacker run this particular stunt. When you are running a stunt like this, what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that all involved form a horseshoe. That's right, a horseshoe. You want to make sure that that pocket around that quarterback is close and closing in on him quickly. You want that quarterback to panic and take his eyes from downfield because he feels the walls closing in on him. You want that quarterback to be tempted to take that open lane that your defensive tackles created for you. And that quarterback is tempted to think that that lane is open until that defensive end exits around like Demarcus Lawrence did. Big dog, when I say execution, everyone not only did their job, but they made sure that they was in a specific place. Those defensive tackles made sure that they pressed vertical to form part of that horseshoe around that quarterback. The opposite defensive end made sure he formed the top of that horseshoe around that quarterback so the quarterback escaped outside of containment. They made sure that that blitzing outside linebacker formed the other part of that horseshoe. So the quarterback also could not loop outside of containment. And they left that one lane open. The same lane the quarterback was looking to run through to escape out of is the same lane that was strategically left open for Demarcus Lawrence to come through. Everybody did their job. When you put together five disciplined dogs that execute their assignment, whether they get the bone or not. Big dog, you're not blocking individuals, you're playing against a team. Huh, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> a dark and stormy night, <laughs> I'm telling you. And to make sure that the deal was sealed, they had to call upon Mr. Law himself, Mr. Executive Branch of the government. You know, cause Law is in Lawrence, right? <laughs> Demarcus Lawrence comes around, and guess what? The center ain't even there. The center made the wrong choice. The center takes the opposite side and leaves the other A-gap wide open. So Demarcus Lawrence comes around so quick and fast, I mean, Big Dog was blazing. <laughs> he came around that corner like, That boy sound like a hurricane or something. Huh. By the time he came around, the offensive guard, he didn't see him, he felt him. Pew. And the center, he didn't see him either, big dog. It was too late. Mr. Law himself, Mr. Lawrence, and he came around with perfect execution for the sack. Number three. Execution. That's why I call it ace, big dog. Ace. A-C-E. Sometimes those are the tangibles 
that people don't think about. You can win before the play even begins. I said you can win, big dog, before the play even begins. Make sure your ace is in order so you can bring your A game. Ace. Alignment, course, and execution. Big dog, I was so impressed with this play. For this whole podcast, all I talked about was the X by the Dallas Cowboys. Big dog, I felt like I had to do it and take my time with it. Because when I analyze defensive line and linebackers running these stunts, sometimes it does more harm than good. But they're not doing it right, big dog. If you want to see a deep of the line run some good stunts, if you want to see Ace in place, go watch the Dallas Cowboys go to work. Now, I'm not saying they're the only deep of the line in the league that runs stunts well. Oh, no. I'm not saying that. I got some more for you. I got some more tacticians in the trenches that I'm going to break down in my next episode. I'm going to break down Big Fletch, and I'm going to break down Big Mac. You talking about some tacticians in the trenches? Huh. Always remember, a dog can't do it by itself. You got to have some disciplined dogs in the trenches with you. Or else, you ain't doing much. You ain't eating much, and you going home alone with no bone. (laughs) Big dog, go back and watch that play. Coaches, if you get an opportunity... If you haven't seen it already, go back and watch that play. Second quarter, Dallas Cowboys against the New York Giants. The sack by Demarcus Lawrence. Go watch that stunt and go watch the ace in place. Remember, ace, alignment, course, execution. Demarcus Lawrence, I see you, big dog. Excellent job on your sack against the Giants but an even better job by those dogs around you. Dallas Cowboys, I see you, big dogs. I see you. As always, baby, I appreciate you spending time with me like two wise men under a tree. We get better every single week, grinding until we find what we seek. This has been another wonderful episode of Big Dog Trench Talk. You got to study to show thyself approved. Got to be a student of the game. Big Dog, don't forget to visit me at www.bigdogfootball.com where we have the best D-line content on site in the world. I might be a little biased, but I know one thing. We've helped a lot of people get better. We've been a great resource to coaches and athletes, so we've been told by our big dogs at bigdogfootball.com. Don't forget, at checkout, type in this promo code PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, PODCAST, and get your 20% off on any package you choose. Why? Because we appreciate you spending time, spending time with us at bigdogtrenchtalk.com. Let your friends know That big dog is on the mic, making sure that we make our big dogs better every single chance we get. All right, big dog, enough talking. You know what time it is, man. It's time to strap up. It's time to put them cleats in the dirt and go to work. Let's work.